Um, what's up guys it's been long since i made a video on this channel and i've been getting lots of comments on my previous videos someone lydia says i have been on the lookout for the season four since it's blessed me especially flora conversation please release it more anointing another Olua fumi Lyo says please i'm really waiting to see the end of this abattoir and yet another says dami please when will another season start we need to know the end of Bade, inspector gabriel chief sonia flora's exploits and aftermath relationship with martin she even called me dami she refers to me as dami whereas i'm not dami <laughs> and i don't really understand dami is supposed to be dami lola i mean this is not dami lola but yeah I can go on and on and read a lot of comments and keep reading a lot of comments people asking me when the movie is going to be released when the movie is going to be released and all of that now what you should know is that this movie is going to be out pretty pretty soon and the reason why i'm saying this is because um two days ago dami lola mike bamiloye um posted something on his instagram where he where he um said something related to the release of the abattoir season four um, all the episodes and stuff let me let me read it out for you guys so he said as we patiently await the release of abattoir season four i will be reposting the previous episodes of abattoir from season one to three every day by 7 pm here on my page as a form of recap and also to help those that haven't seen the series before so tell your friends and family and don't forget to share with everyone that needs to watch abattoir abattoir 4 is coming happy viewing so yeah um, pretty much self-explanatory um and yeah it's, it has said for itself everything it needs to say yeah so abattoir is coming very soon i'm sure like i'm sure he just made this post to like keep his audience which is we that are waiting the movie to keep us busy or keep us updated about the movie and i'm sure like presently they're currently probably editing the movie or filming the movie or finalizing everything before it's released yeah these movies take a lot of time a lot of resources a lot of um, effort and everything to to put out and also a lot of um, prayers too as well because i mean there was an instance when he was there was an instance where he was giving um, like a testimony or something where he said um, sometimes his dad needs to wait for god to give him an inspiration before he finishes to write the script of some movies so yeah that means they pray a lot and probably fast and probably wait on god for inspiration or for messages for these movies and you know what they are doing is really a lot of good work and like i always say i don't see these movies as just movies i see them as revelations and i see them as deep messages and that is exactly what they are so yeah it's it's more important if we actually want to see these movies for the right purposes like we want to see these movies so that we can be blessed we can be edified so that we can learn a lot of lessons about life about god and so that we can also share them with our friends and family and bless lives rather than just you know wanting to see the movie for the purpose of entertainment or to satisfy your curiosity or, your, or to kill the suspense that has been created and some of that stuff so yeah i just want to make this video to like make sure that you guys are actually craving this movie for the right reasons okay me personally i want to be blessed i want to learn lots of about how to you know win souls how to be patient and how to handle people both christians and non-christians a lot of things that have been you know said in this movie in different ways i mean looking at some of the characters you would see that they actually radiate god's light if you look at uh, Billy, for instance, 
he was a very young boy I had a lot to learn from him because he was just a young secondary school chap but yet he, he was very prayerful he was um, very watchful he was very observant and he just showed the life of Christ apparently he cared for his teacher Mr. Martin so much even when the whole world was up against him he cared for him so much and he knew that Mr. Martins wasn't uh, guilty of everything that was placed against him in previous episodes and right now he was in the university he was kidnapped and he still kept his relationship with God and he was released and that was a testimony so these things are, are the major um, reasons behind releasing these movies it's not just um, to keep an audience or to you know it's not just to feed people or entertain people and stuff so not just Mount Zion a lot of other gospel um, filmmaking uh, should I say ministries that we have in the world and we should be praying for them because they are really doing a lot you know if, if they could channel that you know mastery and their skill and everything into the gospel where yeah, they can actually channel it into the world or into nollywood or into um hollywood and other another kinds of movies it will actually be a different thing but they are deciding to use their, their gift for the lord and to win souls so we need to learn this i need you guys to tell me in the comment section what your major lessons from previous abattoir episodes are like what have you learned from um, these movies in the past what have you learned is there any character you can point out and tell me what you've learned from from them i would be i would be i'll be in the comment section waiting to listen to or to read your comments and actually reply all right i think that that's it for this video please hit the like button subscribe and wait wait on me for more updates on this channel i'll see you guys in the next one peace out